What is up, lawn guys? This is Michael Douglas coming back to you. Thanks for joining us. I wanted to talk real quick about that Corona. The best way to protect yourself against that Corona is make sure you got the paper towel wrap. Okay, guys? Nothing is going to get past that paper towel wrap. Okay? Okay. Voila, no paper towel wrap, guys. Let me tell you what, we're getting so many subscribers, so many likes. We just pulled amazing special effects. We got the special effects team going. I'll tell you what, guys, we're having a great time over here at Douglas Lawn Care. Ready to cut some grass. How about you? Okay, thanks for checking in. Like and subscribe. Today, guys, we're going to be changing the gas filter in the Xmark Laser Z. I'm going to show you guys real quick how we do that. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. But if you don't know, thanks for checking in. We're going to show you today. Now, your Laser Z might look a little different than mine. That's all right. You're still going to have a fuel filter somewhere. Uh, so mine's in the back. I'll show you real quick. I got my X mark in the trailer right now. It's a little windy over here in Michigan today. It's a little cold out here, so we're working in the trailer today. But back here by my engine, I have my fuel filter. It's a little bit dirty back here. You can tell it is definitely time for that thing to be replaced. We just have two clamps on the side. Uh, let's pull this thing up right here. We got one clamp and two on the other side there. We're basically gonna just pull these clamps to the side and replace the new filter. Amazing guys, just like that, our special effects team just pulled that filter right out of there. I don't know how they did it, but we got that filter removed and now we're going to put the new one on. When replacing your filter, just make sure that you put the new filter the same direction as your old filter. This filter looks a little bit different than my old filter. It looks brand new, that one looks dirty. This one's a little bit bigger, different shape, but this is what my dealer gave me, so I know that this is the right filter for my mower, and the side connections are the same exact side connections. So we're gonna go ahead and get this filter on. Man, guys, look at that special effects team. I already got that on in no time. Real nice and quick, real easy. So basically, just make sure it's going the same way, Put those clamps back on. I would run your machine for about five to 10 minutes just to make sure there's no leaks and that that gas is flowing through that filter perfectly. That's special effects team, guys. Make sure you protect your mower against any gas particles that could be in there, anything that could be dirt or anything that could be in there. Make sure you're replacing your filter, guys. Also, make sure you get some paper towel, wrap it around your face. Make sure you protect against that corona, guys, okay? Be safe out there. Like and subscribe, guys. Really helps out. Thanks, have a great one.